Typically, when you think about the dominant Intimidate Pokemon in VGC, your mind will go to Incineroar or Landorus. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's a new top dog. Well, the others are cats, so... The point is, Hisuian Arcanine has won every single regional so far for the 2023-2024 VGC season. That's first place at Peoria, Sacramento, Lille, and Toronto. Granted, Lil and Toronto were the exact same six Pokemon, but the other two were totally different archetypes, one of which even had a body press camo, which we covered on this channel in a different video. But why is Hisui and Arcanine one of the best picks for VGC right now? That's what we're going to explore in today's video. If you enjoyed this video at any point in time or learned anything new, be sure to leave a like and subscribe because I post tons of competitive Pokemon content just like this. Also, if you want to save 10% off great tasting drinks, you can click through my link in the description or use code MOXIEBOOSTED at checkout for 10% off gamer subs. Gamer Subs is a caffeinated product that I recommend only to my 18 plus viewers, but my link will take you to the caffeine free product page just in case. Every purchase with my code supports my work financially, so I'd really appreciate the gesture. With that, let's get into the video. Hisuian Arcanine is a Pokemon that on paper should struggle in a format like VGC. Being a rock and fire type means it's susceptible to getting one shot by the various popular water, ground, and fighting types that are running rampant in the format. Despite all this, Hisuian Arcanine persists. There's a couple of really attractive traits that Hisuian Arcanine has that other Pokemon can't boast. Obviously, it has access to Intimidate. Basically, every format has had a popular Intimidate Pokemon have high usage across the board due to their ability to cut the damage output from the opposing team and allow themselves and their partners to live more hits. But in this case, Arcanine also has a powerful offensive presence and a toolkit that allows it to function in nearly every matchup. Where other Intimidate Pokemon like Landorus or in Generation 8 and prior Incineroar have to fear getting KO'd by Urshifu Rapid Strike, Hisuian Arcanine doesn't necessarily have to switch out in this situation. Not only is it a very strong Terra user, but one of the most used sets in the game at the moment is the Choice Band set. With Sword of Ruin active, Hisuian Arcanine's Banded Extreme Speed can deal more than 50% to an opposing Urshifu, allowing it to pick up the KO versus a weakened opponent. The Arcanine that won Lil in Toronto even had Terra Normal to boost this power even further. This set can deal up to 92% to 4 HP Urshifu with Terra Normal E Speed and Sword of Ruin active. This is reminiscent of Terra Normal Banded Dragonite which terrorized Reg C and Reg D VGC. While it's still common, many players have actually opted to switch to Arcanine as a banded E-Speed user due to its greater flexibility and pause the matchup into opposing Pow Knight. Not only does Arcanine resist ice and normal moves while intimidating the Chen Pao, but it can threaten to one-shot both of them with a banded Rock Slide. This is the next biggest draw of Arcanine. Not only is it a strong Intimidate and Utility Pokemon, but it's able to spam Rock Slide like nobody's business. These Rock Slides coming off of a Choice Band set can decide games turn 1. Versus leads like Flutter Torn or Flutter Chiyu, Banded Rock Slide can threaten to KO the entire opposing team even without Sword of Ruin active. The Choice Band offers a bit of a buffer to deal with opposing Intimidate Pokemon. Despite Intimidate going into Arcanine and dropping its attack stat, the Choice Band set basically makes it so Arcanine is still at neutral and hits relatively hard after the drop. Needless to say, Arcanine's presence allows it a slot on a ton of teams as a reliable lead with huge damage coming off its rock and fire stabs and with excellent priority and extreme speed. But another big draw of Arcanine is its great partners. As a rock and fire type, it pairs excellently with Rillaboom. Rillaboom's ability to fake out and threaten one-shots against opposing water types allows it to keep non-terastalized Arcanine safe on its side. These two obviously pair super well with Chen Pao due to their strong physical attack stats. And of course, when you have a Chen Pao, you can't leave the Urshifu Rapid Strikes at home. These four are so reliable together that you could reasonably run them as a team of four, and despite the lack of flexibility in special attackers, the team of four could still do reasonably well on ladder. At that point, just slap on some speed control and a special attacker like Fluttermane, and you've got yourself a pretty spicy team. Is it a little bit basic? Yes, but you can't argue with the results. I mean, I'm currently doing a challenge where I have to take Honchkrow to top 100 on ladder, and these dudes have been carrying my pathetic little crow all the way to the top. Arcanine Hisui may have greater offensive stats and lower speed than Cantonian Arcanine, but it still has plenty of support tools that made Cantonian Arcanine such a splashable Pokemon in early Gen 9 VGC. Will-O-Wisp allows for Arcanine to permanently lower the damage output of physical attackers across the board, something especially useful versus the likes of Brian Hands, whose omnipresence in the format is a constant threat to Arcanine. Snarl is yet another tool that can increase Arcanine and company's longevity by dropping the special attack stat of everything it hits. This is a great move into Fluttermane and Chi Yu leads, as well as Psy Spam teams. Yes, Arcanine is at the top of the world right now with four titles under its belt in record time, but we need to talk about what happens after Generation 9. Incineroar has been the premier Intimidate fire type for two generations now, and it's bound to be everywhere once it returns in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's DLC this December. It's had success due to its toolset, stats, and typing. 
While Arcanine has great tools and stats, its typing can be a problem. When Generation 9 is over, we're likely going to be saying goodbye to Terastalization. One could argue that this mechanic is Hisuian Arcanine's greatest crutch. Being able to instantly change its type to normal for burst damage or fairy to remove its fighting water and ground weaknesses is something that we see Arcanine do in a lot of matches. Once that option is gone, how good will it really be? This is what I'm leaving up to the comments section today. Let me know what you think about Arcanine right now and tell me if you think it'll drop in usage once Terra is gone. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and showcase the Suin Arcanine here. I, I feel like it's just good for the video if I include some kind of showcase of the Pokemon as an example. Um, just so people know like, oh yeah, this is how the Pokemon functions, these are the matchup it shows up to. This is a little bit of a weird showcase for it. I mean, we're facing like hard Trick Room, uh, but regardless, I think this is a this is an environment where we could make a, a case for Arcanine showing up. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and lead off with the Choice Band Arcanine. Uh, we'll also bring the... I mean, in all likelihood, it's going to be Rage Powder on the Sinus Chop plus a Trick Room play. Arcanine is quite good here for that. Um, as far as other things... I think that just leading off with the, the Chan Pao for maximum damage is probably our best play, actually. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll bring the Terra Dragon, Golden Go in the back, and I think we could make a case for Rillaboom here, uh, just for fake out in the late game, but we do have to be careful with the Quarkle. I think we'll be fine, though. Actually, I think this is one of my viewers. Alright, yeah, Mimikyu and Iron Hands. We're gonna get this Intimidate off. And we're guaranteed at least some damage here. Um, I should be able to go for this uh, Rock Slide just for something. And I'd imagine that if I were them... No, my, my top priority should just be breaking the Mimikyu's disguise so I should just double attack there's not really a reason to, to burn a Terra here I think we could technically Terra ghost and then guarantee get like at least the ice go crash off um but I'd like to imagine they're gonna call that out and it looks like they're not we're just gonna get uh two moves that have a possibility of flinching and they switch in the Torkoal this is not scripted guys I swear to god this is not scripted I mean Torkoal is a pretty physically defensive Pokemon but this is choice band rock slide with Sword of Ruin active, we just have to connect it. They actually go for the Will-O-Wisp onto my Chen Pao, interestingly enough, uh, as we do see that their Mimikyu is most likely running a decent amount of speed here. Uh, my Arcanine doesn't have a ton of speed, but Mimikyu is like base 96, I think. All right, we at least connected on the Torkoal, which is nice. Because that should allow us to possibly pick up a KO with the double up. I'll go for another Rock Sled, and we'll also go for the Ice Go Crash. Um, yes, my Chen Pao's burned, but the chance to flinch plus the just sheer damage of Sword of Ruin, uh, allowing the Rock Slide to do extra here is going to be really important. But yeah, no, I, honestly, this is an application of Arcanine I didn't mention in the video, but it is legitimately like a really nice into Trick Room matchups because Trick Room matchups rely so much on the follow me plus like Trick Room setup or like fake out plus Trick Room setup that if you have the option just to rock slide spam, that huge damage, and I think this is just going to KO by the way. I think this is just going to KO. It's weird they're not going for Trick Room. But uh, the huge damage you just get from Choice Spam Rock Slide plus Ruin is enough to prevent Trick Room in a lot of situations. All right, I'd imagine the Iron Hands is going to come right back out as they actually reveal the Sinistra, which is interesting. Um, I think I'm just going to rinse and repeat. There's still not a downside to spamming the Rock Slide and Ice Go Crash. Yeah, they can tear a water, but it's still a lot of damage that I have the option to get here, and I have a chance to flinch. I'm not going to bother calling out a Terra Water or a Terra Fire. Um, they probably are going to go for it, but in this situation, the flinch chance kind of covers for that option. I don't really need to play it um, super aggressively here. As they do reveal the Terra Fairy, that's going to make the Ice Go Crash neutral, but uh, not resisting it's also really nice. 
And because they didn't switch out the Torkoal, we should be able to pick up the KO here. Granted, don't miss it. All right. Rock Slide, please tell me I at least hit the Torkoal. Yep, okay. Cool. Yeah, it's the inconsistency of Rock Slide, but you have to take it. You have to you have to take the positives with the negatives, you know? Trick Room will go up, but um, now we can showcase the other value of Arcanine, which is just pivoting. It's a Choice Band Pokemon. Choice Band sort of incentivizes uh, pivoting a lot. You don't always have to run Choice Band. Obviously, there are other options. Assault Vest, Safety Goggles, Citrus Berry I've seen a few times. Uh, but yeah, here what I'm going to go ahead and do is showcase that aspect of Arcanine by going hard into my Golden Go and protecting. And yeah, no, I I'd imagine here they don't think it's quite over because I do have two uh, Fighting Weak Pokemon on the field next to a Sinistra. Uh, obviously, you know, Sinistra has Strength Sap and stuff. It can really wear down an Arcanine. But uh, what we're going to do is use Arcanine here as a pivoty fire type with Intimidate just to make sure that this Iron Hands doesn't get to play the game. The only out they have here is if they're Swords Dance, which I really doubt they are. They're usually Assault Vest. So we'll lower its attack permanently. We'll get the Golden Go in. Uh, we'll probably end up committing Terra onto the Golden Go. See, they go for the Macha Gacha. Golden Go resists that. And it doesn't really care about a burn since we have leftovers. All right. And here what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to keep the Champ Howl alive because it will survive the burn, obviously. And I'm just going to go ahead and Terra Dragon make it rain. Uh, I don't think it picks it up yet on the Sinistra, but it will do a lot of damage. Eh, maybe I should just set up, actually. We're going to Terra Dragon because that will allow us to not get KO'd by a Shadow Ball. I don't think we do, but it's just safer. And we'll go ahead and we'll swap in the Arcanine here. Get an Intimidate off versus the Iron Hands in case it wants to go for a Wild Charge. It might Drain Punch into the Gen Pal slot, but we shouldn't get KO'd by that. Alright, there goes the Terra Dragon. They do go for the wild charge. We're gonna go ahead and resist that. Take pretty much nothing because of the resist. Golden goes natural bulk, and of course the intimidate from the Arcanine. They're gonna go for the Macha Gacha that's resisted by Golden Go as well. Should do basically nothing. Might get a burn. And Sinistra is gonna recover some health there. Nasty plot up. And I don't anticipate the Sinistra running um protect on it. I'd imagine they're just going to be like Strength Sap. Alright, this is technically a suboptimal play. I should always just go for a Rillaboom swap here and protect. But we haven't clicked E-Speed yet, so I really just want to click E-Speed. We'll go for the E-Speed onto the, onto the Iron Hands because it'll just get a little bit of chip there. It's not going to knock it into um, range of our... It's not going to knock it into range of our um, make it rain, but it should still be decent damage, you know? Which it was, you know, talking after the fact. Uh, Machigacha is going to get some recovery on that. Sinistra, Golden Go is going to stay alive. And that's what I really like about Golden Go Arcanine. Uh, we did see this on James Beck's team. Uh, Terra Dragon, Golden Go plus Arcanine just have such great defensive synergy. Golden Go being able to switch in on fighting moves for the Arcanine. Uh, and Arcanine just decreasing the damage output from physical attackers. Uh, across the board is just super, super cool. And yeah, I don't really see my opponent having it out here. We can swap in the Rillaboom. That'd be cool. Showcase a little bit more longevity. Let's see. This is like the last turn of Trick Room. Uh, we'll play optimally here. <laughs> We've showcased Arcanine a decent amount. We'll play optimally. I'm going to protect and get in my Rillaboom. As they do just forfeit. So yeah. Um, I think that was a pretty decent showcase of how you can use Arcanine on the team. I don't want to show like a ton of battles. I know most of you guys came here for the edited content, so I just want to throw in a little bit of a showcase at the end there. Uh, and yeah, I'll kick it back to myself for the outro. If you enjoyed this video or learned anything new, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. 
Thanks to all my channel members and Patreon supporters. If you want to support my work even further, you can click the join button below the video or become a Patreon supporter with my link in the description. Channel supporters get access to bonus videos every week and see their names at the end of my videos. A special thank you to my most boosted supporters, Joseph B, Canor, and Narwiz for their generous pledges, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Oh, also sub to the second channel. I upload battles there every day now, and it's, it's like really fun, I swear. Okay, bye.